Hey, friend, Chris Vandeviver here from WhyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. After a few weeks of some pretty dense videos and material, I want to show you some immediate workflow enhancements you can use right now, specifically for your mixing in Logic Pro, but also songwriting and producing. And this is all going to revolve around the mixer and channel strips in Logic Pro. If you have ever hoped or wondered, number one, is it possible for you to bypass and re-enable all the plugins on a channel strip in one fell swoop, just back to back? You absolutely can. If you could copy and paste all of the plugins on a channel strip from one mixer strip to the next without having to hold option and click and drag, just like that, you sure can. Also, to be able to copy and paste the send and bus assignments from one channel strip to the next. And taking all of this into consideration, is it possible for you to test drive two completely different sets of plugin chains on a track back to back, kind of like mixer snapshots in other DAWs? And in fact, you can. It takes a little bit of setup. We're going to assign some key commands, but let's give it a try right now. First things first, let's take a listen to this Apple loop. It's just a piano Apple loop. We have a whole bunch of plugins and instruments, some send assignments. Let's take a listen, then we'll dig in. Okay, sounds great. Sounds dreamy. We can see we have EQ, we have delay, reverb, compression. We even have bus one set to chroma verb, bus two to the stereo delay. All right, if we dig into the channel strip settings right at the top of the mixer strip, there are all these options, many of which have no key commands assigned to them, it's easy to overlook all of these options. We're going to hone in around the copy channel strip setting, which has the key command option command C, paste plugins only, which has no key command set, paste sends only, and bypass all effect plugins. These are going to be crucial. And I find that they're very helpful for my own mixing and songwriting. Now we're going to start with the bypass all effect plugins. We could obviously just select this option in the menu by clicking on it. And look at that. We've bypassed all these plugins. But since 10.6, this now acts as a toggle and it toggles the bypass state off and back on. But one better is to set a key command for this particular function. So if we go to Logic Pro, go down to key commands to edit. I've already searched for this particular function, but we can go right here to the search field, type in bypass all effect plugins. There it is. Select that particular global command and then go to learn by key label. And we're going to use the key command. I'm going to shift command one. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it seems to be a good shape for my hand that I can easily resort to without having to think too hard about it. And once we've set that key command, turn off the learn by key label or key position button and close the key command menu. So now, instead of diving into a menu and then diving in again, I'm just going to hit play and toggle between bypass plugins and turn them back on. Here we go. Brilliant, right? That makes life so much easier when you're wanting to test drive the before and after of all the plugins you've added to a channel strip. So now it gets even better because we are able to copy and paste different sections or segments of this channel strip to other tracks. So I'm going to create a new software instrument track. It's empty. It has no instrument, no plugins, no sends. And if we select that first track with the piano, again, we could go to the settings here, but instead I'm once again going to open the key command menu and we're going to search for paste plugins only. There it is. Learn by key label. This one's going to be a little involved, but I'm going to use shift, control, command, and P for plugin. And then we'll search for paste sends. Learn by key label, shift, control, command, S for send. All right. So now, right on this channel strip, we take a look. We can copy this channel strip setting by using option, command, C. So option, command, C. Let's move over to the next channel strip and use that key command to paste just the plugins. Shift, Control, Command, P. And look at that. We've copied not only the plugins, but the instrument as well. Quick sampler and all of the plugins are now on this channel strip. So we can drag this down. We'll solo. 
That's awesome. So now let's do the same thing with just the sense. So shift, control, command S. Boom, now our sends have been copied and pasted to this next software instrument track. So I bet you can imagine how helpful that will be if you have 10 vocal tracks that are all gonna get the same vocal treatment. You can quickly just copy and paste those things to those different tracks, brilliant. And now all of this adds up to possibly the most interesting idea of all, which is, is it possible to A, B, back to back, two completely different sets of plugin chains on a track? To do this, we're going to use Option Command C to copy every element of the channel strip. This includes the instrument, this includes the plugins, and the send bus assignments. And now we're going to start swapping some of these effects. So I'll get rid of the channel EQ and the fat effects. Instead, I'll add maybe an overdrive. And I'll also add instead maybe the 2BQ. And for chroma verb, I'm just going to add maybe silver verb instead. So let's take a listen to what this maybe sounds like right now. So we have a different effect chain at this point. Okay. So now let's use that option command V to paste the channel strip as it was originally. Okay, so now we've flipped. Okay, now if we use the key commands, command Z to undo, to flip back to what we just changed, and shift command Z to redo, we can now flip between two different states of this channel strip. You do have to be careful because what we're basically doing is, is we're flipping between undo steps, right? And you could go too far, I guess. You know, you just want to be cognizant of where you are in terms of your undo steps. But now we're undoing, if we take a look, go to edit, undo history. We're flipping between, you know, this changed channel strip setting back to back. And there you have it. You know, it's not quite mixer snapshots of other DAWs, but it's pretty close, I would say. If you're looking for this sort of functionality of flipping between two totally different channel strips. And if we keep the paste plugin only key command in mind and the paste sends only key command in mind, instead of copying and pasting the entire channel strip, we could just flip just the plugins or just the sends. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly recommend subscribing to the YouTube channel, Why Logic Pro Rules. We're subscribing on the website itself, whylogicprorules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, and posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Thanks so much.